All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cut Above Space Program. And today we are going to uh, jump right back into our Cut Above Space Program save world, where we now have 18 flights, and we're going to put up a 19th today. Now we are going to return to the space plane hangar, as you can see, as you know what? I am going to try this plane out again. I am feeling confident, uh, but I do want to make just one quick little edit to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those off, take those off, and take those off. And now I don't know if I want to use the bicoupler or the tricoupler, so let's just sort of play around with that one, see what this does. So I want to add in some more RAM air intakes into this thing, because they work a lot better than these radial ones. Now, this is thanks to several suggestions that I got from several Redditors, commenters on the videos, and some personal messages here on YouTube. So I am wanting to give this a go. So let's just see if we can now plop this back on. Ah, come on. Take it. Take it. Okay, we're probably gonna have to do this manually. Okay, go back on. You you were working a minute ago. Alright. Now let's do the same to the other side. And flip you around. Why won't you go on? Come on, there we are. I always love it how sometimes things won't go on until you slightly change the camera angle. I've never really understood that. <laughs> yes, there we go, a far more ominous looking airplane from the front with the very large ram air intakes. Now I had suggested to me that I go with the tricoupler one, but I'm worried about using that one. If I put it the third one down here, I'm afraid I'll just break it off during takeoff if I put it up here. I don't know, I just I just think that would mess around with my weight distribution too much. So I think the bicoupler is good. I think it should serve me well. So let's just add it to the action group again. So that is that one. That is the liquid engine. So let's just add uh, these four ram air intakes onto here so we can toggle them on and off with the turbofan engines, and there we go, the XSP-01 is hopefully good to go. Now I am just gonna run through and double check a few things on this, so I will see you guys on the runway here in a moment. Okay, we are out on the runway now with Thompner Kerman in the pilot seat, and... Oh, I am I am excited about this. Now, one thing you may notice here, uh, if you do watch the series, between the last Kerbal Space Program and this one, you'll notice that the textures are looking better, camera's a bit more smooth. That's because this is the first Kerbal Space Program on my newly upgraded computer, so this is working a lot nicer now. I am I'm really looking forward to see how all the games I play for the channel look with my newly upgraded computer. I played Planet Side this past weekend and posted a video of that onto the channel, and it was, oh, so much better quality than all of my previous ones. It looked really great. And yeah, I am looking forward to see how this one fares in the same system. So... Let's let off the brake here and see how well we fly with a nicer computer now. Probably just as poorly as always, but hey, <laughs> at least the frame rate will let us see our crashes in a more spectacular manner. So, let us take off here and whoop. And things have already gone poorly for me. Those need to all be on. I messed up that a little bit, but hey, there we go. We are working on all four intakes now. And taking off. Taking off would be nice. Come on. Oh, God. Into the runway. Oh. Oh, jeez. 
Okay. 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 We are... We are off. And passing over the Nautic Mark I once again. Our little milestone to show that we have indeed taken off and we are now over water. Alright. Kind of holding altitude now here. Let's raise ourselves up a bit. Whoa. You are not wanting to cooperate right now. Come on, gears are up. We are losing altitude. Why? Oh, RCS is on. That's. I was wondering what was coming out of the wing. <laughs> okay. Oh man. All right. All right. We are. We are flying now. We had a little bit of a hairy takeoff there. Uh, yeah. The landing gear I think was causing a bit of drag, and then I was accidentally using RCS though. I don't know how much RCS actually affects things here in the atmosphere, but let's try and get ourselves back-ish on the 90. Come on. Whoa. Stop bobbing. Stop bobbing. Even though Thompner does seem to be enjoying himself in there. Okay, okay. Alright, this... This baby is a lot more top-heavy than it was with these additional air intakes here. Though actually it shouldn't be because the radial intakes were there before... Oh, though the bicoupler, that probably did add a fair amount of weight. Ooh, I didn't think about that. Huh. Okay, well, we're going to have to deal with it now. Let's angle ourselves up a bit more. Let's try and get ourselves to a nice altitude. Now, I'm uh, hopefully going to work with some of the advice I have gotten for how to properly fly a space plane here and to get it into orbit. So, my goal is to get this thing up to about 20-ish thousand uh, meters, and then from there, level off and just keep flying level for quite a while until we can pick up a lot of speed and then ignite the liquid engine to, yeah, you know, try and get into space and hopefully get in orbit. So I'm hoping this works. <laughs> oh, oh, I hope it works. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, there is that airstrip down there again. Now, this weekend, I was curious that I did take that little, oh, what is it called? The Aegis or something or other. One, the very small stock plane and flew out there. It's a really cool little runway with a little tower and two hangars. It's, it's pretty nice. I'm, I'm going to try and get some sort of a lander over there or something that I think would be cool. Have a little secondary crew over there so that if we miss our landing there perhaps we can try again there <laughs> also at some point I need to get some uh, crew up to the other Kerbal Space Facility which is somewhere up north I'm forgetting where now but uh, there is an entirely different Kerbal Space Center up in the mountains that I saw long ago when I used to play the game and did a little journey up there. But yeah, I haven't looked at it on this one. I should put a crew up there at some point. I think that would be fun so that we know exactly where it is and could try and land missions there. Hopefully, these various airfields and bases that they have around the planet will be usable in the future career mode. I think that would be really, really cool. You certainly have to see. Oh, it's taken a little while to get up to the 20,000 meter mark, or the 20 kilometer mark, however you want to put it. I, I do wish that they would just go to kilometers once you hit the 1,000 meters. I think that would just make more sense, but uh, oh well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Alright, we are halfway to the point that I'm hoping to level off at. So what I'm going to do, because this is going to be kind of a long flight, I am going to fast forward up until, well, until we get to the leveling off point, then I'll fast forward again up until we get the speed I want, and then we use the liquid engine to go into space. So 
it's going to be a little bit of fast forwarding this episode, but now that I'm recording with better software, I, I actually do like doing those fast forwards. I couldn't really do them previously with my old recording software because it didn't do too well with long clips, but this one works out well. So I'm going to fast forward and see you guys in a moment. Just watch Faulkner's happy face in the meantime. Okay, well we're to the 20,000 point, a little over now, but our air intake is still at over the... Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, that just very suddenly took off on us there. Oh, God, oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I was about to say that we still had over the point one air intake that I like to see for those engines. I was told we could go down to point five. But it just all of a sudden went from 0.12 to 0.4 within an instant. And then this happened. So, well, Thompner still looks happy, even though he's spinning out of control. We do have an escape system here, so hold on. And, well, I don't know if I should release it yet because it does have the parachutes on it. But, uh, we'll just... Let's try and control this spin. Okay, okay, there we go. Mm, oh, oh, all right. Nope, that, oh. Okay, well. Thompner, my friend. <laughs> There's some of your debris 2.3 kilometers away. And now we're coming down like a lawn dart. Let's try and angle ourselves up. And, oh, that's not wanting to cooperate. Come on. Come on. And we're just spinning wildly out of control. Well, for the heck of it, we still have one landing gear. Let's lower it. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Probably not. Nope, really not. Okay, well, we're going to just kind of angle this up, and there we are. Good old escape system. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well... That could have gone better. That could have gone a lot better. <laughs> but Thompner survived. Thankfully, I did include this ejection system just in case things did go wrong. So we are in the clear. Let's just fast forward the time in the game. Whoop, yes, yes, I know. Blah, 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 blah. There's not really much physics to be had. We're just falling. But, yeah. So, that was kind of a failed mission. We're going to try it again in a moment once Thompner lands safely. Alright, come on. There we go. 500, there we are. Parachutes are open. Thompner actually looks less happy now that the parachutes have deployed safely. I guess he's like Jebediah and likes things a little crazy. All right, let's fast forward until we get into the water here. Come on, there we go, there we go. I could just end the flight, but out of principle, I don't want to until he actually splashes down in the water safely. <laughs> so, <laughs> come on, you slow parachute, let's roll. Huh, it's not very far to the ocean bottom there. <laughs> All right, we are almost there. There's 50 meters to go. And back to one times acceleration, or, well, no acceleration. And there we are, a safe landing of an unsuccessful space plane flight. Oh, geez. Okay, let's end the flight. Look at the re report here. All right. Structural failure on linkage. And then it all went to hell. Oh, wow. Only three Gs? That doesn't seem like much. He was spinning quite fast. I'm actually I'm actually surprised at that. Oh man, we got up to a good speed too. That's that's disappointing. Let's restart that flight instead of jammering on the or yammering on rather, not jammering. Uh yeah, I'm just going to fast forward from here, so let's try and take this baby off 
And, uh, yeah, let's just activate that engine and activate that one. Oh, oh, God. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's restart that again. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not my day today. It really isn't. Okay, we're going to do that. And then... Open in oh yeah, I open intake, open intake, open, and open. I really need to go back and fix that. Uh, but yeah, we're taking off. Let's try and get ourselves straightened on the roadway. And yeah, once I have successfully and safely taken off with Thotner all happy and joyful again, I will just go into the fast forwarding. Uh, oh god, come on. Take off. There we go. There we go. T. Put the landing gear. And uh, time to fast forward. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, bringing you guys back in because I think this is awesome. We are flying almost level. I think I'm actually going to kind of stay around this mark of close to 18 kilometers up. And I am loving that we are getting the atmospheric re-entry effects here because, well, we're in the atmosphere and we're going over 800 meters per second. So this, this is just cool. I am, I am really quite enjoying this. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely think we're going to try and keep near around this point just to be safe this time. I don't want to be shocked all of a sudden like in that last mission where it was just BAM and engines are gone and we're spinning randomly out of control. So let's actually level this down a bit more. We're keeping a good speed. I'm liking it. We are now whew, almost to a thousand meters per second. Let's level this baby off a little bit more. Ooh, actually a lot more there. Ooh, not that much, not that much. There we go, right there. <sighs> okay, let's keep gaining ourselves some speed. I mean, oh, look at this. A thousand meters per second on the surface. I'm loving that. Look at that. We are burning up. It's great. And ooh, we're actually going down a little bit now going to go into IVA. Not as, uh, as impressive as it is outside. That's just cool looking. I mean, come on, look at that. Well, we are actually, yeah, we are coming down a bit. Oh, oh, let's angle it to right about there. Okay. Oh, no, we're going down in uh, speed now. Okay, okay, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm. That bothers me. There, we are now going down in speed. Okay, perhaps I should have ignited the liquid engine at that when we reached that thousand meters per second mark, because we are actually losing quite a lot of speed now. Ah, uh, that. That definitely gets to me there. Okay, uh, and I'm messing everything up now. Alright, yep, yep, oh, I don't know what I just hit, but it's, oh, things are not going well for me anymore. Man, even with the more sensitive controls on, 
at this speed, you just catch the wind and it just takes you right up. Uh, come on, there we are. Let's try and angle this thing a bit more up and... Oh, man, try and get back to that good speed we were at. Ah, it's killing me now. Okay, okay. I'm going to fast forward again and try and get us back up to a good altitude and a good speed. Ah, I need to recover from that. We lost, like, 400 meters per second with that because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't notice it was dropping until it was too late. So that sort of seems to be the max speed that this baby can get, at least with my horrible, horrible piloting abilities. So let's see if we can regain that. We still have quite a bit of fuel. So I will bring you guys back, hopefully when I do. Okay, we're back up to the uh, over 1,000 kilometers or 1,000 meters per second. So what I'm going to do now is activate the liquid engine and turn off our regular engines and try to get an orbit. Perhaps, I don't know how well this is going to go, but, and I don't know if I should really be angling up much. But this is an experiment. I'm hoping that this works. I, I don't know if I should just be shooting straight. Whoa, we are past our apoapsis now. I don't, I don't foresee that being a good thing. Ah, oh, oh, this isn't going to work well for me at all. Why did that just flare out? It's not on anymore. Uh, well, I think that this was a failed experiment at this point. Those are all closed. So I do not think we are going to get into space with this. I thought I was following all the advice I had gotten well enough, but I guess a thousand meters per second just doesn't do it, and I probably should be angling a lot more up. I have no clue, really. I've never done this successfully, though. Man, it's not actually letting me angle up anymore. Oh, I do have the fine-tuned controls on, but no, still, at this speed and... Us still being in the atmosphere, I'm holding all the way back on the S button, and it's barely lifting me up. And we are now almost out of the liquid fuel. Ah. Oh, man. I was really hoping that this one would be the mission that got us on this. And there goes the oxidizer. Oh, man. Ah, we did better on just flying straight up in the last episode. Uh, well, the last episode that we did this on, at least. Ah, that is... That is very disappointing, actually. I am... I'm very saddened by that, and I, I really do want to do another launch, but I, don't, I do not want to let this run over in time. Though I, what I really don't get is that it wouldn't let me angle it up anymore. I was holding all the way back on S, uh, just pushing it in as hard as I could, and it just was not wanting to cooperate. Let's start those engines back up. And uh, yeah, I just could not angle it up at that speed. It was just fighting me the whole way. So I, oh man, I don't know. What really saddens me, though, is we actually got higher in altitude uh, last time we used this, where we just shot straight up for the sky. Why are you going down there now? I don't want you to do that. And now it's lifting up when I don't want it to. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> yep, failed mission. Let's just try and land this thing. I am going to shoot for somewhere on this continent. Uh, man, that... I was really hoping to get this thing into space, too. I was very confident from all the advice that I had gotten from all of you guys, which thank you to all of you who did give me various bits and bobs of advice, though this does look pretty awesome right now. Let's uh, actually get rid of that. And Yeah, that's a nice shot. I like that. Ooh, that's good, too. Artistic. Sun. I like it. 
Now, if only that was a proper re-entry burn, or not burn, but a just a, well, a proper re-entry, I'd be happy. Oh, so we can easily get this thing to a thousand meters per second flying it like this. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you have any more advice, or if I'm just doing something really, really wrong with piloting. Please let me know in the comments, send me a message, whatever you'd like. Because I, I really want to get one of these things into space and get it into an orbit. So, <laughs> I'm just having no luck. Rockets? Rockets I can do. I can get those into space with no issue. Sure, sometimes I underestimate my fuel consumption, but all in all, I can get them to where I need them to be, generally. But yeah, these space planes, man, I just, I just do not know what to do with them. Oh, fine-tuned controls back on. All right, all right, oh, whoa. SAS. Yeah, let's at least try and land this thing so that it's not a complete bust of an episode. We had one crash, which, granted, was sort of hilarious, and Thompner had a good time with it. But I would at least like to land this thing without it exploding on me, so hopefully. You know what, if we lose this liquid engine like we have in the past on landing, I can live with that. We can just replace that. It's not that big of a problem. As long as all the wings are intact and the landing gear is good, I will be a happy camper. So yeah, let's just bring ourselves down. I'm going to fast forward a little bit until we get closer to land because, well, this still is going to take a little bit, so yeah, be back! bringing you back now as we are coming into a gliding landing. I uh, shut off the engines completely. Hopefully that is enough. Oh, oh, and oh! Yeah, that engine, oh, it was all the engines fell off that time. Okay, so the engines are a weak point on the design. They tend to fall off during a landing. But, you know what? Like I said, if as long as the wings were intact as well as the cockpit, I'm happy. So, you know what, just for the heck of it. There we go. <laughs> there you are, Thompner. You are officially on the ground for yet another failed space plane attempt. Man, I am I am not good with the space planes. Thompner seems happy, though, doing a little jig. But, yes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. At least you got a spectacular crash earlier. <laughs> which Thompner survived, thankfully. But yes, if you have any more suggestions, please leave them. Uh, I don't know why things went wrong. I stayed at that altitude for a while. I got up to a thousand meters per second, which then I suddenly lost. Got back up to it again. Tried the liquid engine, but could not pull the plane up. It, it was fighting me the whole time. It wanted to go down. Which I don't, I don't understand that. I, I really don't. <laughs> but yes, that that's gonna be it for this episode. Again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you come back for the next. I, I, I may, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do the space plane again to try and get it into space. For the love of God, I want to get this thing into space. But at the same time, I, I really want to do successful missions, <laughs> and I have a whole slew of missions that I want to be doing with rockets, so I, I may return back to the rockets again for the next episode. But I do hope you join me for that either way, and of course, a thank you for watching, and as always, my friends, have a good one.